like nuggets, chicken nuggets are such a like, I don't know why they're so associated with like when you were a kid or something. I guess that's what every like, when you go out to eat fast food, like every kid always gets like the, the chicken nugget meal, you know? But you can eat these like as an adult anytime. I can eat them when I'm drunk, when I'm sober, when I'm for breakfast. Hi, I'm Faraday, the culinary director at Munchies, and today we're gonna to be making homemade, fast food style chicken nuggets. Making chicken nuggets at home doesn't have to be hard or anything scary. These are actually just straight up chicken breast. We've got some seasoning in there, and then it's just a matter of batter and frying it. That's it. So we're putting the ground chicken into the food processor, then we're adding in about a teaspoon of onion powder in here, and another teaspoon of garlic salt. And then some normal kosher salt to taste. Get it going. All right, cool. So you don't actually have to have a food processor to do this. You can totally just like do this with your hands and just mush it up and just get in there really dirty and, and do it. I just, I just do this to make it like whipped and more coagulated. Now we're going to form our nuggets. You can use gloves if you have them. Honestly, what I like to do is wet hands. So you're gonna dip your fingers, get a little water bowl, a little finger bowl right here, and then you're just gonna form some patties. So not too big, you don't have to look pretty. Put them on a parchment lined baking sheet. So these are gonna go in the freezer for two hours until they are frozen solid. So these guys have been in the freezer for about two hours and you can see they are frozen solid. So we're gonna make our batters. It's gonna be a three bowl process for battering the nuggets. So the first bowl is going to be a half a cup of flour and four tablespoons of cornstarch. And then we're gonna do a quarter cup of milk into the second bowl along with an egg. Just like that. I'm gonna whisk that up. The third bowl is gonna be my tempura batter. So another half cup of flour in here and a tablespoon of cornstarch in that guy. This is my seltzer water. It's about three quarters of a cup. And I'm gonna add this, the bubbles in it, make it nice and fluffy. It's a nice fluffy, really crunchy, crispy batter. You don't need to make it really smooth. In fact, you don't want it really smooth. You want it to be, have like a couple of lumps in it. So the cool thing about using um, a tempura batter for this is that tempura, typically it's like that really light and fluffy um, and super crispy batter. And so we wanted to replicate something that was gonna have that crispiness to it. Um, and the way that I only could imagine doing it was using a tempura batter. So starting off with one nugget at a time, I'm gonna drop it into the bowl of dry ingredients back into the, the wet mixture. Make sure you coat it entirely with the egg and the milk mixture. Back into dry ingredients and then into your tempura batter. So what you could do is put this, I'm gonna fry this as I go only because it's kind of easier that way. But you could put this onto like a sheet tray if you want to. Um, I just don't wanna lose all my batter. So I'm gonna go like this and kind of gently drop it into the oil. So then it's just a matter of frying it for a minute at 325. So this stage in the game, we're not looking to get the um, chicken nugget really golden and crispy and cooked through. We're just doing a first time fry on this. Then we're gonna cool it down, put it back in and get it really hot and crispy and then it's gonna come out that perfect like fast food style chicken nugget that we know and love. We finished um, frying all these and then we've cooled them down for about 30 minutes or so. The first time we fried these at 325, this time we're frying it at 375 degrees. So this time we're looking to finish cooking the chicken. So these are gonna fry for about two minutes. Um, what we're looking for is a nice, that nice golden color and now they're cooked all the way through on the inside. So we're just gonna pop those out. So you wanna just season them with salt right when they come out. I've got some barbecue sauce. These are ready to go. They smell delicious, they're crispy. This is better than fast food. This is, this is like just, just like fast food at home.